Hey guys, Tierra here with Doc Girl Fitness, and this week's video is another week in the life vlog. So I'm very excited to kick this week off with a nice chill Saturday. To be quite honest with you, I have been running around to different coffee shops trying to find a place to get work done because I have a lot of emails to catch up on for next week. I like to get ahead of the game by starting on them on Saturday and typically I pre-schedule them to be sent off at 8 a.m. on Monday morning. So I have a lot of those emails to send. And in addition to that, I have a lot of studying to do and just some things that I wanted to do around the house and some stuff I wanted to order on Amazon. So I was excited to go to a coffee shop to get all of this done until I realized that it is a very busy Saturday and everybody has work to get done. And I had a lot of issues trying to find a place to study. So I thought to myself, why don't I make my own home, a coffee shop for myself to feel comfortable to get work done in. It's a nice and beautiful and quiet day in my neighborhood. And the room that I chose to study in is quite beautiful. But recently, one of my friends in town thrifted a chair that they got from Goodwill and it didn't fit the aesthetic of her home. And she was giving it away to anybody who'd be willing to come pick it up. And it's absolutely gorgeous. It's the chair that I'm sitting on now and it's so comfortable. And I wanted to recreate the sights and the sounds of a coffee shop. So in addition to sitting on this chair, which I feel is the most coffee shop-esque, I also put on my TV a YouTube stream of coffee shop sights and sounds. And I lit a candle and I'm excited to just sit here and get work done. So I'm gonna do that. And then I plan on going to Target later to get some decorations for the fall. And I'll take you along the journey there. And then we'll see how the rest of the week goes. So now I'm gonna go ahead and get some work done and I will check in with you guys a little bit later. All right guys, change of plans. So yesterday I told y'all that I had trouble finding a coffee shop so I made one from my house and that was such a perfect decision. I had so much fun just getting cozy, having the sounds of a coffee shop in the background and just getting work done. And I got so much work done that I decided to cancel all the rest of the plans and keep working into the night. And I got a lot of good stuff done. I still woke up having some more things to do. I have a few videos that I've already made that I need to edit. So I got up early this morning and I headed to a coffee shop, which I am here right now. It's a coffee shop that I tried to come to yesterday, but there's so many people who love this spot because it's so nice and the food is good and the workers here are so kind. So I wasn't surprised when I got here yesterday and it was packed, but I got here early enough today. I got a great spot. So I'm gonna go inside, get some work done. And then I have a few errands that I have to run today and I'll take you along with me to go get those done. All right guys, so I'm back now. I really got so much work done. It is so peaceful in there and there weren't that many people. Even if there were, I had my headphones in, but it was, it was just a really great working environment. I got a lot done. I still have a lot more to get done. I didn't realize how many things I needed to catch up on, but I don't really have time to stay there anymore because I have a couple of errands to run, like I mentioned earlier. So I'm going to go run those errands. I'll take you along with me. And then I probably will do what I did yesterday and make my home a little bit of a coffee shop for the afternoon and try and finish up some work in time to have some fun tonight. So, all right, let's go run some errands. All right, guys, 
So I'm currently in Target. The reason why I'm in this region is because it's literally the quietest section of Target. It's pretty popping in here today. Um, but I'm just getting a few things that I need. For example, I really wanna wash my collar, but um, something I'm realizing is that it's quite expensive to get it detailed. And I personally think I could get all the things that I need to do it myself at home. So I just got those. I found a really nice book that I'm hoping to read over the next few weeks and just some things to make some fun baked goods and really get into the fall feeling. I know it's late in the game to still be doing fall things, but we still have at least another month, month and a half of fall. So I'm gonna really step into that time and yeah, I'm gonna go ahead and find some stuff now. Okay, Target trip is complete. I got a few things, not much fall decor. To be honest with you, the prices were a little bit more expensive than I wanted to spend just because I know that Christmas is approaching pretty rapidly and I don't wanna get into a position where I'm spending a lot of money on decor that's only gonna be up for several weeks and then I'm gonna have to switch it all. So I just got a couple of good smelling candles. I'll light one today. And then I got ingredients to make two nice fall dishes. And I tried to make some healthy substitutions. For example, trying to switch out some of the brown sugar for brown sugar substitute, uh, Truvia. And I tried to make some, some adjustments like that. And my husband and I got a fun board game that we'll play tonight as well after we make dinner and make our fall baked goods. I also was able to find all of the things that you need to get your car in a position where it looks like it was detailed professionally. So I plan on going ahead, eating lunch, getting settled, and then seeing if I can do that myself. Hopefully it works out and my car looks better. I think it would be hard to make it look any worse than it actually does. It's pretty dirty because we had a little bit of rain recently and then I parked my car in a location recently that was underneath a tree where a lot of birds sit. And so there's bird poop all over my car. There's a lot of dust and dirt. And so it just, it needs a little bit of TLC. And I think that doing this at home is gonna do the trick. Hopefully I can film some clips of me trying to get my car together and I'll try and do a before and after of it as well. And I'll see you guys later. Okay, so a uh, lot of work to be done. Just really a lot of dust and dirt and some leaves. So the goal is to just Make her shine like new again. All right, it looks so much better. Wow. I think that's the best thing we've made together. I agree. That was my husband who said that. This is so good. I was gonna wait and take a bite on camera, but it looked so yummy. So we took our first bite together. These are delicious. Homemade scones, pumpkin with a homemade uh, frosting on top that we made out of some different ingredients than what you usually make frosting out of. And it is just really yummy. So it's pretty late in the evening. So this is probably going to be our dinner, but uh, nice way to end the day. And I'll prepare for the rest of work this week and I'll catch up with you guys tomorrow.
Hey guys. All right. It's been a couple of days since that last clip that I showed you all of the yummy pumpkin scones that my husband and I made. And a couple of things have happened since the last time we chatted. I have been going back to the procedure suite and I continue to be amazed every time I go back because I'm learning more and more and being exposed to more and more. And it's just been such an incredible opportunity. So I actually got an opportunity to go earlier in the day and I was able to observe several different procedures, several different EGD which I did mention in the last video and they were followed by colonoscopies and I got to participate in the EGD portion and observe the colonoscopy portion and by the third one of the day I was starting to really better understand the mechanism of how to manipulate the dials in the scope more and more than I was the time before. And I just really appreciate once again how incredible the mentors were that I had throughout the day and the attendings who really took the time to make sure I understood what I was doing. It made me feel very comfortable and I felt very supported throughout the entire process. And it's made this rotation so fun. I think the best part about being on this rotation is knowing now that I really do see myself wanting to pursue this as a career and it just makes me feel so excited to know that I have really dedicated myself to a subspecialty within pediatrics and it makes me excited for the future. So that's what I did earlier today. And as you saw in the clips before just now, I went to a different coffee shop in town and I got a lot of work done. I had some emails to respond to, some projects to work on, and I was able to get a lot done. And now I'm about to go on a walk with a friend and then go home and continue to prepare for the rest of the week. For those of you wondering how I prepare for my days in the procedure suite, what I typically do the day or two before the scope procedures, I make sure to check the schedule to see which attending I'll be working with. And I then check the schedule and make sure I know which patients will be receiving procedures that day. And I also try to make sure I understand the background of why they even need a GI procedure in the first place. I originally started off just observing the EGDs and the colonoscopies, but I have now had the opportunity to even be an observer during ERCP procedures. And I'll make sure to include somewhere on the screen what that is. But to make sure I'm prepared for that, I also make sure I review the anatomy. I have learned it time and again, but it never hurts to continually refresh yourself, not just on what the anatomy is like in terms of how you learned it in medical school, but also how it pertains to that patient, how there may be nuances or differences in that specific patient's anatomy based off of whatever medical conditions they have, as well as what that anatomy looks like or could look like in those procedures, because it could look a little bit different than what you're used to seeing in a medical school textbook such as Netter's or any other anatomical textbook. Not only do I feel more prepared for the day by doing that, but I also feel like I have a better understanding when I'm in those procedures of what is going on, and it helps me learn a lot more than I would if I didn't prepare in that way ahead of time. So I'm gonna make sure I go home and do that. I'll probably stop by the store on the way home and make sure I get some candy for Halloween. By the time this video uploads, it will be the day before Halloween. So for those of you who celebrate, I hope you get to do something fun or pass out some candy to trick-or-treaters, whatever sounds like the most fun for you. I think I'll go ahead and end the vlog here, but I just wanna say thank y'all so much for coming along with me for another kind of half week or week in the life. And I look forward to seeing you guys soon. Make sure to check in next week. I've been reading the comments and I noticed that I got a lot of great feedback about you all wanting to know more specific updates about my most recent hip surgery that was last December. So if you were one of those people who wanted to know about that, make sure to tune in next week. I will be doing a much more thorough update. I'll be answering some of the questions that that are just much better answered through a forum like YouTube videos as opposed to responding to the comment section. And I'll also make sure to tell you more specifics about how my appointments have been going with my orthopedic surgeon, as well as how my appointments have been going with my physical therapist. So I'll see you at that video next week. And in the meantime, if you liked this video, make sure to give it a big thumbs up. If you have any questions or you just wanna chat, make sure to let me know in the comment section below. And if you like videos about medicine, lifestyle, and fitness, then make sure to subscribe to my channel. I'll see you next time.